Stephen Kymer reporting live for the Boston Herald and Franklin Pierce University, and I'm standing right here with Mr. Vernon Supreme, who is running for president in 2016. How are you doing today? I'm doing very fine this evening. Thank you very much for asking, sir. You're welcome. Of course, uh, I am here tonight. I came to debate, but they will not allow me to debate. Imagine that. Uh, they allowed Martin O'Malley to debate, and he's not even here anymore. So I wonder myself, uh, Martin O'Malley was allowed to debate while he was polling at 1%. That's with a plus or minus uh, uh, mistake rate, error rate of one half a percent. So he could have been polling as low as 0.5%. And quite frankly, sir, I believe that if I was included in any polls at all, I would certainly be polling at 0.5% or perhaps higher. Uh, so once again, uh, why am I not allowed into the debates? It's uh, simply because they don't want me. Is there one thing or a couple things that you want to tell the general public right now uh, that you would have mentioned in the debate that you think that they should know about your candidacy um, in the race? Well, yes, of course. I, I, I'm assuming that your viewers may be familiar with, with my work, but if they don't, my uh, uh, campaign platform consists of four basic planks. They are, of course, as follows. Zombie preparedness and harnessing the awesome power of zombies to create energy uh, as a source of energy for the future. Number two, time travel research, going back in time and killing baby Hitler with my bare hands. Uh, mandatory toothbrushing laws. And, of course, free ponies for all Americans. These are my uh, issues that I'm bringing forth to the American public. It is, of course, the federal pony identification system. You must have have your pony with you at all time. And were I given the opportunity to make any sort of opening or closing statement, it might have been something like fo as follows. Friends, the road to Ponytopia will not be easy. There will be hardships. There will be sacrifices. Not all of us will make it. However, when we do arrive, and we may not arrive, it may be our children. It may be our children's children. The road to Ponytopia will be paved with the glitter-encrusted skulls of our vanquished pony-hating enemies. Join me to victory, people, to victory. Together, we will ride our ponies into a zombie-powered future. Join me. Skip with me, people. Skip with me. So if I were given the opportunity to have made a statement, it may have gone something like that. Very good. And so seeing those, though we're on a college campus, what kind of parts of your plan to run for president could be relatable to the interest of the common college student? Well, of course, uh, I'm for adding two grades to the public school system, which I think uh, uh, Mr. Sanders has uh, put forth. And I think if we frame it as such, I don't see it's much of a problem. Kids go to school for 12 years. Nobody has a problem with that. You add two more grades, 13th grade and 14th grade, that's the program in a nutshell. And I don't know why they're not selling it like that. Uh, but yes, I believe uh, an educated uh, American is a good uh, American. Uh, an, an informed citizen is an armed citizen, and an armed citizen is an informed citizen. Where am I going with that, you might ask? I'm not even sure. And speaking of armed citizens, uh, let's talk about the crisis in the Middle East. Uh, the candidates talked about uh, foreign security and combating ISIS and things in yeah, Afghanistan and getting our troops in and out of the country and their opinions on it. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, and what would you do for uh, foreign policy to protect Americans from domestic uh, and internal uh, acts of terrorism? Well, once again, of course, I believe I would launch an immediate all-out war against Narnia, number one, and of course their allies or the axis of evil as I refer to them as Middle Earth. And what was the name of that other place? Westeros. Westeros. Yeah, we're going after Westeros next. And I believe that uh, by utilizing the latest in pony drone technologies that we will be able to take out wedding parties like nobody's business. You, hear to her you heard it here first. And uh, get we're going to get terrorists too. Yes. Not just wedding parties, terrorists too. Thank you. And uh, where do you get your hats from, may I ask? Uh, this particular brand uh, is, uh, is the Tingley Rainwear Core. Tingley, made in the USA. One of the finest rubber rainwear boot makers in America today. Thank you. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time, and uh, best of luck to you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Winnie's. All righty. Stephen Kymrick reporting live for Franklin Pierce University and the Boston Herald. You heard it right here, Mr. Vernon Supreme.